everyone, welcome to a new episode of Cultural Magazine, where we bring you the latest taking place around the nation. Let's get started. On the occasion of the 99th anniversary of the death of the people's artist uh, musician Said Darwish, uh, Prince Bishtak Palace, in cooperation with the Cultural Development Fund, presents a musical evening for a house of Arab singing. The event is held in cooperation with the Said Darwish Music Friends Association. The Sayyid Darwish Heritage Band, led by Maestro Muhammad Hassan Sayyid Darwish and his band, present a selection of his works. <laughs> Sayyid Darwish is an Egyptian singer and composer. He is considered the father of Egyptian and Arab music and one of the greatest musicians in Egypt. He composed and sang many songs that became part of the Egyptian heritage, such as Ana Hawit or I Adored, Qum Ya Masri, or Get Up Egyptians and Salma Ya Salama, Welcome Back. <laughs> Sayyid Darwish's largest production came in national plays, which numbered about 26 musical plays. In 1921, he formed a special band for himself that presented novels like Shahrazad as well as other plays. His theatrical melodies are characterized by popularity and ease, and he introduced the harmony into the instruments. Darwish composed in the period from 1917 to 1923 nearly 20 plays. The most famous of which are Fi uh, Sharaimin or In Whose Law, Khalid uh, Fuad or Empty Heart, as well as many others. One of his most important works that he composed is the melody of My Country, My Country, or Bledi Bledi, from which the Egyptian anthem is taken. <laughs> Although Sayyid Darwish lived only 31 years, he left melodies that testify to his unique and distinct creativity, and he died on September 15, 1923. <laughs> headed by Dr. Magdi Sober presents the first foreign performances in the new artistic season 2022-23 as it hosts nine ballet stars in the most prestigious specialized theaters in four countries France, Italy, Ukraine and Russia who present three performances in Cairo and Alexandria at the Grand Theater and at Sayyid Darwish Theater at the Alexandria Opera House. The pro 
program includes a collection of renowned scenes of classical and modern ballet duets, including Zorba, Swan Lake, Don Quixote, Shahrazad, and many others. It is noteworthy that the art of ballet appeared in Russia during the reign of Tsarina in the late 17th century. He has brought from France Yapist Landi, the most famous ballet coach at the time. The first ballet school was opened in St. Petersburg in 1735, and its students were restricted to children from the court, after which Andy submitted a petition to the Tsar asking to train a number of young people, and his petition was accepted, which later formed the modern ballet school that spread onto Europe, uh, which was later built. After his death, a state of stagnation passed for this art, which later returned to prosperity at the hands of Maurice Petipa, who worked on its progress. This period is considered one of the most important stages of ballet in Russia. and Sustainability Forum for Children and People of Kurna was recently organized by the Egyptian Architect House of Cultural Development Fund sector in the village of Kurna in Luxor. The forum began with a trip to the Deir el-Bahari temple, then a dialogue session in the Khan building to explore the views of the children about what they learned during the events and activities of the forum. The event included a dialogue with children about the values they have learned through the stories of grandmothers that Egyptians inherited from Upper Egypt. This came with a theatrical band workshop and fantasy puppets show. It was followed by a review of what the children had learned about the planning of the model village and the design of buildings, the thoughts and visions of the famous Egyptian architect Hassan Fathi, the advantages of mud architecture, its response to climate change, and the preservation of physical and psychological health, and the green brick workshop. The discussion also touched on the importance of preserving the Nile River, the fishing profession and fisheries, its importance and uh, the impact of crop cultivation on food. The issues also dealt with the importance of preservation of the natural environment and the life cycle organisms. The forum concluded with the distribution of incentive prizes to the participating children to motivate them to apply the knowledge and skills they acquired during the three-day activities. It is worth noting that the forum aims to educate the village people, children and youth of the importance of heritage and how to preserve it and it also links them to their environmental culture.
The activities included morning and evening gatherings under the title An Urban and Architectural Drawing Tour, discussing the Qurna Story Workshop, the Hassan Fathi and his architectural work, that is to discuss the concept of sustainability, and lastly, a green brick workshop. Egypt has a long-standing history in trying to exchange cultures with other countries and exchange their expertise and experiences when it comes to the folkloric musical arts as well. Let's go find out more about these cultural exchanges. <laughs> Culture Dr. Nivine Kileni launched the 15th edition of Sama International Festival for Spiritual Music and Chanting under the slogan, A Message of Peace. The festival is under the auspices of the Ministry of Culture in cooperation with the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities and the Dialogue Foundation. ceremonies were held in the so-called Cairo Wall Theatre area. It was attended by Dr. Ashraf Al-Arabi, the former Minister of Planning, and Tisar Abdel Fattah, who is the head of the festival, and many ambassadors of the participating countries and an array of the leaders of the Ministry of Culture.
ونبدا من الهند من رواد التسامح For her part, the Minister of Culture honored many artists, including artist Mad Najit Singh from India, received by the Indian Cultural Councilor, the great artist Ozar Hajibeli from Azerbaijan, received by the Azerbaijani Ambassador in Cairo, uh, Sheikh Abdigawed Mahesan from Tunisia, the artist Sabah Zidani from Morocco, the pastor Antonio Sibrahim. Imaiyad from Egypt. Samira Abdul Aziz. Special honor for the great artist Samira Abdul Aziz. In addition to honoring the two countries of honor of the festival, Canada and India. Ya Nabi Salam Aleika, Ya Rasul Salam Aleika, Ya Habib Salam Aleika, Salawatul Aleika, Ya Nabi Salam Aleika, Ya Rasul Salam Aleika. It is worth mentioning that 30 Egyptian and foreign ensembles participate in the festival, which includes Romania, Algeria, Morocco, Jordan, Sudan, South Sudan, Indonesia, Lebanon, Yemen, Palestine, Syria, and Egypt. This comes in addition to Canada and India, who are the guests of honor for this edition. The festival activities are held in many historical locations, including the Northern Cairo Wall area, El Ghuri Arts Center, Prince Taz Palace at Bitisineri Center, which are all in the old Cairo districts where the celebration is held.
Korean embassy, along with the Gukak Academy, is trying to promote the traditional music arts here in Egypt by teaching the Egyptian students how to do this form of art and learn more about it. Let's go find out more about the Korean arts and how this has helped bridge gaps between cultures. <laughs> So the K-pop or the K-drama or K-B movie already has a popularity in Egypt. So like people knows about like BTS or Skid Game, but no one really have uh, this understanding of Korean traditional music. But the history and heritage of traditional Korean music uh, goes back to a couple of uh, hundred years ago. Uh, and here, I think the role of Korean Cultural Center is to give uh, some space or opportunity for Egyptian uh, to experience more than Korean wave or K-pop. So that's how we prepare uh, this Korean culture, to Korean traditional music class. I mean, like I think as a Korean, we are very happy that you know people knows about Korean culture or you know they just follow Korean uh, movie or drama and that's how they uh, learn about our culture you know so I'm very happy and I think my government happy as well uh, is happy as well but I don't think uh, you know this is something that uh, government put into someone's mind uh, it's like uh, none of Asian government maybe try to really promote their movie or music but it just goes by person it just spread it happened so i think it's same for korean movie or korean pop k-pop uh, and it was possible i think because of the power of people you know power of korean and power of egyptian
언어 장벽이 있지만 어, 한국 학생들하고 이집트 어, 인그 학생들하고 좀 다른 점은 Korean students already know the rhythms of the Korean folk um, music than they were children, so they get the rhythm so fast. But although that the Egyptian accent, uh, the Egyptian students do like really got the rhythms very quick, and they learned it in two weeks very quickly. They really became very great in the Korean traditional music. <laughs> brings us to the end of this episode of Cultural Magazine. Hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more on Nile TV.